Well, hi there. This is Spaghetti Automations, and I'm going to show you how to hook up a simple double pole, double throw rocker switch like this to an actuator using a power supply and some of the parts from the EL kit, which you may have bought off the website, which is basically all this stuff, where you get um, some male and female connectors, micro switches, fuse blocks, uh, red and uh, black wire, and um, and you're going to need all that to hook up the actuator. So first of all, if you don't want to use a switch, you can hook the actuator up directly using just a, the red and black, the positive and negative wire from a power supply. In this case, we're using the um, one off the website that you can buy, or maybe a, just a car battery. And then just using the two wires from the actuator, you can hook it up directly like this and make the actuator move and just reverse polarity changes direction. Simple as that. But, of course, you want to make it simpler using a switch like this, which has got an arrow for up and down. Just like a car window lift, it's ideal for um, actuating uh, uh, stuff like this. So, that's what we're going to do here. So, first of all, you're going to use the wire and the uh, connectors that are in the EL kit. And you're going to make, first of all, a couple of, say, 6 to 10 inch wires, black and red wire. and put female connectors on both ends and then for the actuator which in this case this actuator has got a red and a black wire but they may not always have a red and a black wire but it doesn't really matter and you hook up um, uh, two shorter lengths so take a two or three inch black one and a two or three inch red wire and put a female connector on one end of both of them and then on the other end you're going to also attach um, a female connector but also attach the wires from the actuator so here's a red wire so two wires into one and same for the black wire make that two wires into one so just connect them up and then to connect it to the uh, switch you simply just take um, Let's take the red to start off with. We'll attach it on the bottom. And it doesn't matter which way around this switch goes. It could be this way around or this way around. It doesn't make a difference. Just connect one end to either side. And it could be the left or the right. It doesn't matter. So long as the other end of the short wire that you've already connected goes horizontally, uh, diagonally across from it. So it needs to be diagonally across from the upper end to the lower end. And the same goes for the black. So we're going to attach the black one there, and then that one's just come disconnected. So we'll just poke that back in there. To the bottom end there. Again, that's diagonally opposite from the other end of the black wire. And that should leave two spaces in the middle. Now that's where you're going to attach the power from the power supply. So those two wires that you've already made up with the connectors, you'll attach the red on one end and it doesn't matter, you can get them either, either way around, it doesn't matter. So we'll attach the red one there and then we'll put the black one on that side. And then the other end is where we're just attached to the power supply, whether it's your car battery or a um, one that you plug into the wall, which is like what I'm using here. And here I'm attaching, you can attach the red to the red or the red to the black. It doesn't make a difference. So just to make it easy, we'll do red to red, black to black. And now that should move the actuator using the switch. As simple as that. Now let's say we want to use the um, fuse block, which comes with the EL kit as well. These are nothing more than a, uh, a 10 amp fuse and it would be ideal to use this where you want to protect the actuator so if something gets in the way of the actuator instead of breaking the, um, uh, the motor inside here the fuse will just blow. And all I've done is I've connected a male connector on one end, a female connector on the other end and then all we have to do is disconnect from the red wire of the power supply because that's where the power is coming in and we'll just hook up in series this fuse block just like that 
and now we have a fully protected actuator. There you go, thank you.